Okay, so today we've got another video. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this video was actually supposed to be a peroxide video. However, some pretty big news just dropped. Pretty much about an hour ago, Jujutsu Infinite was finally lifted from Media Band. Now, if you guys don't know what that means, it basically means that now I am able to actually record the game and, well, show you guys what it's about. Now, just a little recap in case you guys don't know what Jujutsu Infinite is. It's basically a JJK game that was made by the owners of Titan warfare and titan warfare is one of my favorite games and so when i heard these guys were actually making a jjk game i was definitely just super hype and really excited and so yeah the game's pretty much been in development for a few months now maybe even a year i'm not really too sure so don't quote me on that but yeah they have been working on it and it has officially actually been media been lifted and they are also actually giving out testing for paid access see so yeah, if you guys do want to actually buy that then you can go to the discord and just you know buy the little subscription thing and i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly it's a one-time purchase but yeah, once you buy it you're able to access the game hence why right now there is actually 300 active players but yeah, i'm really excited to finally get into this and so with all that being said let's get into the game all right so here we are in the actual game now they're already playing like the freaking jjk theme song which is pretty cool but you guys probably won't be able to hear that since i'm actually gonna lower it all right so we've got play arena test realm customize i'm gonna assume test realm is just where like you can go to test everything without actually having to like meet the requirements arena is most likely pvp let's go into customize here all right so for when it comes to customize yeah we have innate skills and innate bag which i'm pretty sure is like the thing from shindo life where you can just set the ones that you've already rolled and then we've got cosmetics and right now you can only spin your cursed energy now i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have actually played this game for pretty much like around 10 minutes just before recording this just to like see what the game had to offer and so yeah i have actually done a few spins hence why i have disaster flames and curse speech so i just want to let you guys know that now be all in all pretty cool customizations so i guess since we've pretty much been through all of that let's just click play and get into the game all right so here we are in the actual game now this is pretty much where you're gonna spawn in the beginning like i said i have played this game for like 10 minutes beforehand hence why i'm level 9 right now so i do already know as much as i need to right now to at least start but yeah this is basically the starter town as you can see we've got some people right here we've got the boy right here who gives you heavenly restriction and this is actually a game pass for anyone wondering you will not at least for right now i don't know if you can get it like normally without buying it but yeah that is a lot of robux but you do get heavenly restriction i don't know if it's that good or anything but just want to let you guys know that is there we've got gojo over here who i know yeah he promotes you so this game kind of works the same way as like peroxide where you pretty much go up in grades and in order to do that you just need to meet the requirements so for me to get to grade four i'm grade five right now i need seventy five hundred dollars and then you can just promote i don't know what you get from promoting though you can learn maximum technique for oh damn one is that a million i i hope i'm counting that wrong but a million dollars and 20 sakuna fingers and then besides that you can learn domain expansion for literally the same thing okay all right, we've got the shop here. What does my boy here sell me? Rusty katana for 100 bucks. I mean, all right. I do have 140, but I don't really want to get a katana right now. Or maybe I should. You know what? I'll just buy it just like to see what it does. Like maybe it does more damage than my fist. But and shikigamis. What do you want? Roll shikigami. What is this? Oh, not added. Okay. Something I do actually want to specify though. Um, the devs did say that right now they would recommend doing PvP since the PvE isn't actually like really done or polished yet. And so yeah, if you guys see anything just like weird or any bugs like that just remember the game is not completely finished yet in terms of the actual ui though we've got the shop all right that's pretty cool we've got settings all right pretty normal stuff we have parties which is dope you can in fact party we got your inventory let me actually equip this rusty katana right now we've got skills which yeah so this is where you can pretty much get the skills these are all pretty much just basic skills that you can get you know diversion fist and then there's taijutsu skills which is for your fist so these are just you know if you're going to be using heavenly restriction or just you know want a taijutsu build in general and then you have your innate skills which are pretty much all your curse techniques from the clans that you get and in the customize option this is where just where you set your like moves and stuff that's pretty cool everything right now is pretty good i do have curse speech and the freaking dude who was like the volcano so that's what i'm rocking right now i do actually have some stat points too because like i said i did play beforehand so let me actually put these in i'm just gonna go for like an m1 build right now i don't really know what is like a good build in terms of right now but i'm just gonna go for m1s and i guess some health i mean 
why not it seems like it'd be a pretty good just basic build something that is pretty cool about this game though is they have this little compass here which basically tells you where you're supposed to go whenever you hit the uh, level requirement and so right now as you guys can see if i just follow this compass here it'll take me pretty much to where i need to go which is right here and this dude yeah is the quest giver what quest would you like to do i guess the level zero quest because i'm not level 15 yet exercise 12 scorched curses i could do that bet see i don't really know how long i'm gonna be doing this for i guess i'll just play until i feel like satisfied with the video but yeah right now i just gotta exercise 12 scorched curses so i guess uh with this i can actually take the time to show you guys the like controls and stuff so first thing is shift is actually how you charge your cursed energy so the blue bar under my health is actually my cursed energy so if i click shift this is how you actually charge it and this is just because you know you need curse energy to do your moves besides that we've got you know your basic m1s oh these do do this does do more damage than my fist what my fists only do like what is it yeah oh wait they do the exact same damage okay that's kind of weird but whatever i'll keep using the sword oh it's got like its own move set if you guys see at the bottom right it's got one two so what is this move then one two it's just two slashes okay i'd rather keep my fist though i actually really like the fist moves but yeah you know you've got your basic m1 so you know we're just piecing these guys up r is your guard break so it gives you that heavy hit 36 damage pretty good and then besides that we've just got like a normal blocking so yeah the combat's pretty cool and then in terms of like the special skills you get um we've got rising kick so if i click z yeah, sends them flying, and I know you can click E to basically like chase them from you kicking them away and that's like how you get the really cool combos going on damn right now i'm like piecing these guys up though um i think my ex cursed tendril is actually a combo extender so hold on if i can just see if i get to this guy right here pretty much if i knock him away and then use x yeah you see that it like pulls him back and it's basically just a free combo extender pop piece that guy up send them into the air oh bro this dude canceled my dash bruh let's actually use some like innate skills here so let's see i've got disaster flames molten palm so we click z basically just a giant fire nuke all right and then besides that i've got tur cursed speech twist so let me just use that real quick oh that is so freaking cool bro so it lifts him in the air and he like snaps his own neck what the hell man this game's animations are really dope honestly all right i mean we completed the first quest so that's pretty good i guess i'll just keep doing this now until i'm able to uh you know just move on to the next area actually i'll just show you guys a little bit more of this just because why not give you guys as much gameplay as possible you know i did manage to get uplift though so that's pretty cool i guess i'll buy no i don't even have enough money for that bro i also want to get divergent fist so i'll save for this yeah i just need a little bit more cash but it'll buff my m1 damage so yeah definitely gonna save for that i know in order to get more moves you do in fact need to up your mastery and for anyone wondering how to do that you basically just keep using your moves over and over again so in order to up the cursed speech mastery you basically just you know keep using cursed speech moves right, let's go up to this dude bop 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 knock him away into the x yeah the complex center is actually so free in this game and what i also like is just the mobility in general feels really good like you can use the um chase dodge from the E to just get around instead of even using it for like combo extensions. All right, it's a big AOE group. So you already know, yep, I'm gonna drop my AOE move right there. So far though, something I will say, the noises to the game are like very freaking loud. It's probably not gonna be as loud for you guys since I'm just gonna be lowering it. But yeah, for me, <laughs> this game is very loud, man. Bro, who does this dude think he is? Hold on a second, bop. Hit him with the cursed speech, bop. Yeah, this move is so cool, bro. The animations in this game. Oh, it also lowers their speed. I didn't know that, that's pretty dope. I will say something I really do like about this game is the animations are just really good and so yeah that is pretty dope i guess i'll up my technique i mean why not no i'll just keep going strength i mean why not i'm more of like an m1 guy in game so yeah i'm just gonna keep buffing my m1 but this is what i'm talking about like when you click e you see that little dash you get is really dope but you just get so much mobility i guess i'll just keep going until i get to level 15 since that's when i can accept the next quest so yeah, when i get to level 15 then i will be back all right i think i only gotta kill one more dude before i can actually get to the next quest so I'll chase this dude kill him and and no, I'm only level 13. Okay, but never mind. In terms of the combat, though, I mean, just from fighting these NPCs, I will say the combat's pretty nice. It feels pretty fluid. Like, you know, I'm in control and I really do like that. What I mean by that is, like, for instance, so I can block, I can dash out of a block, which is also really dope. Like, stuff like that I really do like in games. Oh, I'm getting grouped on. Yeah, no, thank you. Big AoE move. Yep. Hit him with that disaster flame. And now I'm, let me just run up to all these guys real quick. I'm going to have him just twist for me. Yep. Hit him with that twist. Bop. And yeah, snap your necks. There we go. That, that move is so cool. And it's pretty much a combo extender too i will say it's kind of funny that some of these npcs are bugged like this dude for instance i can't even hit but like he can hit me but again i mean it is like early access so or early testing i should say so i can't even complain all right i just gotta do this thing one more time and then yeah i'll be i'll be able to move on into the next area 
All right, I'm finally level 15, so now I'll do the other one. So the Ashen Curse. Exercise 12, Ashen Curse. Yep, I got you, my boy, and those are over there. All right. All right, so I think I'll do this until I'm supposed to get into the next, like, quest area. I'll probably do that mission, like, once for you guys, and then after that, I'll probably just call it a video. So the Ashen Curse are, like, these dog guys. What the hell? Okay. All right, so here we are at the Ashen Curse area. Um, It's, like, these little dog guys. That's pretty interesting. Something I will Will say though about this game that's really cool is just the mod like the models and the animations are so nice it's actually kind of insane i did not think they would make them like this good so just shout out to the devs for that like these things are actually really cool the way they just like design the freaking demons and stuff or the curses i should say yeah like just look at them like that, that is really dope man i'm gonna just be honest i'm already about to complete this though it's pretty easy hit him with that twist real quick yep so break your next for me yep thank you very much now we can get the combo extender all of that we can dash all of that like bro the combat in this game just feels great. I'm really excited to get onto the PvP. I don't really know when I'll do that, though, since I am myself just, you know, trying to really learn the game and just get better at it. But yeah, I am really excited for that because right now, the, like, in terms of how it feels, I think it would actually be pretty good. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to do this quest a few times. Once it lets me swap to the other quest whatever that is supposed to be then i'll go over there do that and then after that i'll pretty much just call it a video so yeah i'll just see you guys when i'm actually able to get onto the other quest oh actually i completely forgot bro i was like trying to freaking get the damn uh, curse technique so i am easily above level five and so because of that i can actually get diversion fist now see i'm definitely buying that and your boy can also get uplift but i do not have the money for axe smash dang man it's definitely pretty dope definitely gonna turn those on so we'll put diversion fist Fist in V, I guess. I mean, why not an uplift into C? And so, yeah, it says Diversion Fist is basically just an M1 buff. So, when we click V, yeah, just look at that, man. Like, the animations in this game are so nice, bro. That is so cool. And I guess I'll just use uplift on, like, one of these enemies real quick just to showcase this. So, let me see. If I go up to this dude, hit him with the uplift bop oh it's like, oh that's cool so it's like basically a ladder it brings me up with them and i can just get a free combo off of that that's dope yeah i don't know right now i'm thinking about running like some sort of like taijutsu build as you guys can see because like i said before i am more of like an m1 guy myself and i actually really like the m1 moves as of right now from what i've been seeing like these moves all look really dope so i do not mind just running like a taijutsu build but i'll see okay i don't even know what this thing is it kind of just appeared in front of me zen forest wave room i don't know what that is i'm kind of scared though it says level one one to 300 so you know why not i've kind of just been grinding like a bunch so i guess this will give me like a nice change of pace i don't know when it starts oh it starts in like 12 seconds all right we'll do i'll just do this then and then at the end whether i win or die i'll probably just end the video all right so we are here now i don't really know what a way oh okay it's literally just infinite bruh all right so yeah this is literally just like an infinite mode i guess i get like rewards at the end this is really cool though i didn't know this was it what the hell is this a talisman it just gives me free xp what <laughs> okay okay so it's basically like an infinite mode or i think it only yeah it only goes up to wave 20 so i'm basically just supposed to survive up to wave 20 that is actually really cool i did not know they had this in the game yeah i guess i'll just damn this dude has health i guess i'll just do this for a bit see if i can you know make it as far as i can and then after that i'll just end the video all right i'm gonna be honest guys i've only been doing this for a few minutes and there ain't no way i'm beating this bro half of these dudes already have like 800 hp man i do not do this kind of damage like i don't know bro there is no way i'm beating this i hope i get like rewards at the end though for at least making it like decent i will say though the like talismans you get and like the free xp is definitely dope all right guys i'm not gonna lie i'm on wave six bro i could probably make it a lot further because i will admit the npcs in this game are definitely a lot easier than they should be pretty much what i mean by that is like some of these mobs are really high level and should really just be like destroying me but the ai in this game is kind of just eh to the point where like i can pretty much just infinite combo them and they really can't do anything back. See, I can definitely make it a lot farther, but these guys have so much freaking health, and I don't do nearly enough damage to, like, kill them fast that it's just taking me forever to kill these guys, bro. So I'm just gonna admit that my defeat and actually just let myself die, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna end the video, man. So let's actually see. Do you get any rewards from, like, dying? I don't really know. All right, yeah, it seems like you only actually get rewards for, like, completing it, so that sucks. It would have been nice if you actually, like, just got stuff for, um, you know, playing it, but I, I guess it makes sense, so whatever. But yeah, that's basically gonna be it for the video all in all my personal opinions i think the game is looking very good right now the animations and everything are just great i think the combat and everything is really fine and just very smooth which is good and yeah i just have really high hopes i'm definitely excited for when this game actually just like fully comes out i don't really know if i'm gonna do any more videos on this game
game just because like i said it really isn't done right now so just doing any more would kind of just be bad in my opinion but if you guys want i can see if i can just like set something up in terms of like a pvp video see so yeah, if you guys do want that just a straight pvp video then do let me know down in the comments and if you guys enjoyed the video then please do make sure to leave a like since it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and yeah with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one peace